This is England. It's a small island, but it has some of the loveliest country, some of the prettiest villages, and some of the largest, ugliest, and most vigorous cities in the world. In many countries, the need to preserve natural beauty and noble surroundings has been recognized by the state. In England, they have been saved by the people. In 1895, without assistance from the government, a number of private enthusiasts formed the National Trust dedicated to this work. The fruits of their idealism are more than ever welcome today when the cares of daily life lead more and more people to spend their leisure away from the cities in the peace of the countryside. This great stone circle beneath mighty Helvellyn in the Lake District was set up in adoration of strange forgotten gods. An magnificent Bodium Castle was built in the 14th century by one of the Black Prince's knights as a comfortable residence which could yet house a community in time of siege. Little Morton Hall, a famous example of Cheshire black and white architecture, is still lived in by the family who built it in the days of Queen Elizabeth. Here in the mountains of Westmoreland is a farm typical of the district. The trust is an easy landlord to farmers and encourages good husbandry on its farmlands. West Wickham in the Chilterns is one of several villages owned and protected in their entirety by the trust. Over a thousand places and over 150,000 acres of England are held in public trust forever. As every kind of country from high moorlands to rolling downs, and every kind of homestead from splendid castles to humble cottages. Many estates were presented by their owners, others were purchased by donations from many small contributors. To the children, the open country holds a magic promise of adventure. In the fresh air and sunlight beyond the ancient lanes, they can play in a world of their own. Dovedale, in the heart of England, lies near mining towns and centres of the cotton and pottery industries whose people flock in their thousands every year to explore this lovely valley and its great pinnacles of limestone.
900 years ago, the Norman invaders found much of the east of England like this fenland at Wiccan. Today, hardly changed, it is still bright with flowers, the haunt of birds, moths, and butterflies. Here is England's Lakeland, the countryside that Wordsworth loved. Small wonder that its islands and gleaming waters inspired some of the country's greatest national poetry. People come over these hills from far away, down the long slopes through Langdale to the Pikes, past Friars Crag, up Birch Clad Borrowdale, over the pass to Crummock Water. Climbers, the children, and the fishermen, they come from the crowded cities to refresh their spirits. The land that welcomes them is administered by the trust, but the people are its guardians. For the unspoiled beauty of this rich heritage of Britain, defended against every foe by the hearts and hands of their forebears, is still the responsibility of the people. 